70 people every day in the UK are diagnosed with blood cancer. 58,300 people die every year in the US due to a blood cancer. 2,000 people in the UK every year are in need of a stem cell or bone marrow transplant. This is often their last chance at survival. I think that's just a lot of people. It's a shocking amount of people, um, especially for just one type of cancer. Wow, um, I didn't know that the number was that high, especially since I feel like blood cancer is one of the cancers you don't hear about as much compared to like prostate cancer, breast cancer, that sort of thing. Um, I genuinely had no idea it was that high. Uh, that is a massive number and as much should be done as possible to reduce that. Yeah, it's crazy that someone's like, the thing that they need to survive isn't something they have control over, that, you know, they're just waiting and they have to hope that there's someone with the right match for them and there might be someone out there that hasn't signed up that could save their life. I feel like it should be an opt-out system rather than an opt-in system because so many people don't realise that it's something that you can sign up to and that you need to sign up to if you want to participate in. Um, we could have so many more donors um, if we changed our system slightly. I think that just shows like how much of an important cause it is and how much support you need to get, which is why we're doing this today, I guess. You wouldn't really expect that because you've, if you've never, like most people haven't experienced it, you wouldn't think, you think it's quite a rare event, but then you hear that kind of number and you're a bit, like, it's a lot more common than you think. Especially with the NHS being free, that shouldn't be happening. Like, it's so easy to just register, help somebody out. We don't have to pay anything for it. We're so much luckier than the US in that respect. Um, it is something that does need a lot more sort of coverage so that more people know about this. I feel you hear with cancer, there's so much money going into it and treatments getting better and more advanced, but there's still so many people getting diagnosed. So think we need to do our bit, everyone needs to do their bit to raise awareness and try and make that number low obviously because it's awful. Today at LSTV we're raising awareness for leukaemia and other blood cancers and also highlighting the charity Anthony Nolan where you can register to become a bone marrow donor. Here's my lemon for leukaemia. This is not going to end well in any way. Alright, let's do it. Oh, there's a pip. Pip pip. Oh. <laughs> it's just pips. <gasps> That's actually quite nice. Oh, it's so nice. Mmm, lovely. I. I love that. That's probably the best. Oh, it's so bitter. Mm. Become a bone marrow donor by using the link below and donate to Anthony Nolan. Who are we nominating? Gus. What? Gus. We nominate Gus and YSTV to do the hashtag lemons for leukemia challenge. <laughs>